I am so excited to be sharing this house tour with you today. We're in my local suburb of Northbridge at a friend of mine's house. Her name is Robin. And today I'm joined by Lou because Vaughn is sick. I'm well. You've got me today. Oh, I'm so glad you're here, Lou, because I have to have someone with a real design eye see how amazing this home is. What have you heard about it? I've only heard great things yeah. and I'm so excited to do yeah. a tour. We have never seen a house like this before on a Three Birds House Tour. Come along. This is impressive. Mm -hmm. uh, this is Lou. Absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. What style do you call this, Rob? Well, I think it's postmodern. The whole house was built back and designed around the Around the palm trees. Two palms. I mean, that's something yeah. that we would do. Like, we're yeah. palm obsessed. Aren't they gorgeous? Yeah, they're gorgeous. Oh my gosh. And yeah. it's such a modern facade. And take us inside, Rob. Come on, yes. come on in. The height. Yes. Oh. Oh, that's, wow. I think the, the thing we love most about the house is just the high ceilings and just the feel of openness. How high is this? Eight or nine metres. <laughs> wow. <laughs> We're wow. usually pushing to get to three. Is this real travertine? Travertine? Yes, that's a um, sandblasted travertine. They can't just be glued onto the wall, so they're actually um, bolted. And it works so beautifully with the concrete, like mixing the travertine yeah, well, and it just concrete. Adds a bit of wall. It does. And it's quite the texture, I love the texture of it. Oh, and every tile beautiful. is different. And I love the um, accent lighting. That are the up lights on both walls with yeah. the art. That's, I mean, we've, we haven't we've done lights on the floor. That's an idea. Yeah. All right, take yes. us into oh, this. Come through. This is the adults' room, yes. the adult lounge. Yes, well, we're all adults that live here now, so, um, but I just love coming down here. And just the design of this space, Rob, with the Amazing again, the high ceilings, but just wrapped around it with the glass. Oh, and the light's incredible. Like you can see the skylights now. Yeah. All throughout the day, it's just that whole foyer area just changes. Hey, I am loving this rug because, you know, we always talk about a rug, you know, yes. zones of space. Not that you actually needed it to create the zone, but the way it ties it all together. It's a great yeah, example yeah. that you can't go too big because it covers almost the whole floor. Yeah. But that yeah. works. It well, does. we want to do that too for acoustics as well because I mean, it's very echoey. Oh, so. It's beautiful. And, and Rob, the curtains, I must admit, oh, yeah. I know when I first came to the house, I had a little pull of them and they are so smooth. Lou, yeah. just see how smooth running they are. Pull them yourselves. Look, just keep oh, going, keep going, oh, keep going. <laughs> Not just myself. keep going. <laughs> Feel that. It is easy, considering and the height of them as well. Rob, it's just beautiful. All right, should we go upstairs? Oh, yes, please. Well, tell me, these tracks through the concrete, is that a design? The builder actually came up with that idea, which I thought was great. Yeah, it's cool. If you're doing a concrete house, you yeah. can't expect the same colour. The same Do you mean swirl. like that is different to that? Yeah. Is different to that? Yeah, yeah. I can see. I can see that one's Over definitely here's different. Completely look different here. Like you can you see know? the swirls. It's like veining, really. Um, yeah. The air bubbles. Yeah, the air bubbles. That's the air bubbles. Yeah. That's when they're pouring Yeah, the this concrete. is very different to this. It's honeycombing. That's what's lovely. That's what we love about it. Oh, hey, I can feel the warmth of the floor. Yeah, can you feel the warmth? Oh, is, is it all heated? heated? That? So it's lovely. You can walk around bare feet during winter. What are um, these tiles? So this is um, limestone. It's almost like a checker. Like yeah, this is yeah. quite dark compared so to this one. So if anything does get spilt, but it doesn't get wiped up straight away, you know, all natural stones are quite porous, even though they're sealed. Yeah. So having this yeah. movement. Oh, you'd never be able to tell. I mean, you look, can't you really can't tell. tell that this was a vodka spill here. <laughs> you'd never there's know. A, there's a bit of a big margarita <laughs> one over here. This is your lounge room? Yes, so this is like our everyday. I'm taking a guess, is there something that like, there's a surprise behind a surprise here? Behind I thought there <laughs> might be, it was. I love a hidden TV. Yes, you know. so do I. I reckon this would have been Bond's best TV. feature. And so, big question: Was this a renovation or a brand new build? Brand new build. Brand new. And a lot Rob, of what was your role in it? Because I know that you're an interior decorator yourself. How much of an input did you have into sort of the design we're seeing? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, our art architect was amazing, and I would go and meet with him at his office once, twice a week, and we'd sit through like. This is the first book that I arrived 
at his office with. What's it called? Concrete, concrete House? Concrete House. And it's all about beautiful concrete houses in like Brazil and all around the world. And he was saying, you know, you love this concrete. Let's change this house and make it all concrete. Mm. So I said, okay, that's a great idea. So it just like an involved, you know, evolved from there. Together. And what about the furnishings and the art? Like this art mm -hmm. is is unbelievable from a distance and then close up, where every single yeah. little circle is its own piece of yeah. art. So it's based on New York. So if you look, you'll see little oh, yes. famous buildings yes. in yeah. New York. And when you stand back, it's a, a model from Fashion Week in New York. So was that your hero piece that you built everything else around it, or did you? Um, that and the... I was um, going to say, it looks like another hero piece over there. Yeah, yeah, this is a Melbourne artist. We try and teach our students the importance of repeating colour mm, around yeah. the room, and you would know that as an interior decorator, and seeing the, the mustard tones and the pink tones there repeated here, through to here, and then this is a dark mulberry. Yeah tone it's just that's how you design a space to make it feel good yeah. okay. and what about even Rob I'm looking up at the oh. ceiling here the feature you've made with the moon roof yeah well that was so like more probably the um, builder came up um, with that um, design because it was actually just like a flat piece of gyp rock yeah and we're looking at one day going it's gonna have to be some really great light but and he was saying why don't we add the, the wood because we're in a like a bow 40 zone here, so a wow. high fire zone. So we actually couldn't have any exterior wood products. So I couldn't have a wooden front door. I couldn't have wooden oh. slatted ceiling out the back. Yeah. And hey Rob, I was just thinking, I, I, we walked past this, but I don't want to overlook this balustrade. We shouldn't have walked past. We shouldn't have. We, we love the love and the tension it needed. And I love actually here that you've done half concrete and then kind of just yeah. the top, topped it off with a balustrade. Each of these poles were drilled individually into the concrete because it has obviously to be stable because of the yeah, height. Yeah. I just like the mix of products, having the limestone, the brass, concrete, travertine, mm. timber, yeah. and it all sings and works together beautifully. Now, Rob, we've got to go outside I because know. It's like a tropical retreat. Who would have thought? Northbridge. From, like Lou, from the front to here, you wouldn't expect, I feel like I'm in Bali. Rob, it's such a wide yes, stretch. It's, um, 30 metres across the back, which is quite a unique for Northbridge because mm. most properties here are 15 by 45. Speaking of retreat, can we enter the pool area? Absolutely. And what an interesting shape. It's like a little yeah. Tetris block. It is, but clearly, Rob, you just wanted to totally nestle it up against the house. Yeah. yeah. Well, this was all designed by the architect. He wanted to see the pool from the yeah. living space and it to be a feature. Yeah, and I'm in the infinity edge. Oh. And you don't have to have, you know, to be looking out at water to have that infinity edge, you know, just yeah. to have the beautiful landscaping. So what I find that interesting is that it's quite a square house, it's sharp edged house, yet your landscaping is still softened. So you're still happy to kind of curve your garden beds, bring in the Ooh. softness of shaped. Oval, yeah, yeah. you're yeah. right, and Lou. Like we've curved it, and we, the fence here's got a bit of a curve. You're so right, Lou, I hadn't noticed that. Even the chairs are curved. Even the chairs are curved. Yeah. <laughs> and even, you know, this little sort of fire pit area, but, all yeah. rounded, again. and that is just creating balance yeah. to offset all the straight lines of the building. Yeah. This is another great example of where you don't want a fence to stand out, so putting yes. it in, yeah. I didn't even notice it till now, yeah. putting it in dark, a dark colour yeah. means that you don't see yeah, well, it. Well charcoals and blacks with the greenery are yeah. a great camouflage for yeah. fencing. So, so where does your block actually end? Mm. Your At, the At the fence. At that rock. Oh yeah. you, you scored. scored. <laughs> this is like your whole property there. Yeah, yeah. All these ginger plants here, yeah. we planted all those yeah. because it was oh, so like that. a bit of just dropped away land. Yeah, yeah. but wait, that is the neighbour's property mm. and you planted, planted, planted them on their property. Yeah, we Did you talk to them? them? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> So Rob, a cantilevered barbecue here, very sleek. Yeah, very simple. Um, keep it easy and um, didn't want a fussy barbecue area. It's very clean. Yeah. yeah Where's the gas? Clean. Like, does it light? It's, it's, it's like a high gas underneath and it, it's piped through to oh, the natural to gas. Yeah. Like a yeah. wood cooktop. Okay, now I'm really eager to see a kitchen. Yes, How really have we eager. not even got into the kitchen <sighs> yet? Oh wow! Very okay, streamlined. This is so unexpected, isn't yeah. it? From what I would have predicted it to be. I would have predicted and a huge, big, open one that goes straight into the lounge room. But you've really 
mm. made this a discreet space. Discreet mm. space. A lot of decisions on um, how we did the kitchen. So then we made this, the butler's pantry and then the other side put the bar on the other side. Right. Um, but I wanted a very minimal kitchen. So I wanted a, a space when you're sitting outside or because it opens up to be such a lovely big area that when you looked in it just looked like nice joinery. If you were out there this could be a bar. Like yes. It's, that, yes. It's, it's, and when we set up for parties and that, because the oven's black and the veneer's black, we moved the chairs away or put them around one side. People don't even know they're in a kitchen. It's, yeah. it, it, it's like a bar. Yeah, it's a bar. Oh my gosh, you've totally designed. It's the greatest non-kitchen I've ever seen. So we've got two fridges here and then the freezers, the freezers with the below. ice maker. And then it just, you can oh. see the different colour palette. Oh, okay, so you've um, gone for a darker in, oh. in here. In the butlers. Mm. Just, oh. to, just to sort of like tie in with the, of course. the dark veneer and a door to hide the mess. You see? I know. Thought of everything. Yeah. Um, but you did mention a bar. So is that behind here? The bars and this way. I love the location of it. Yes. It's totally just for the party connection. Yes. Moscow Mule set. Moscow Mule set. What's that? Moscow. A Moscow Mule set. It's, oh my god, I've not had one. Have What's it called? A Moscow, Moscow Mule. Mule. I haven't heard yeah, of it in my yeah. life. Oh my god, oh. it's so good. Got a cav oh, cavity sliding door. Lou, we yeah. found another one. This is the new world of open plant. Oh, is this a powder room? The guest room. Powder room. Oh. My favourite thing here is the pedestal. So he hang on, where's the toilet? The builder helped me and he came up with this lovely design and the toilet is hidden here. Yeah. How amazing. Yes. And the timber battening from the, you know. Yeah, and then it, that flows from, from the I thought that was above. a wall. So you know the only problem is You've got guests who don't know the toilet's there, and they come in. And they're yeah. busting. They're and gonna they be like, like oh, they're, going, they're gonna be like, she said the toilet's in here. Where is it? That's it. You've done too good a job of concealing it. Who would have thunk it? Okay, level three. And so it's lovely. So when you're walking up that flight, you actually look straight through to the right. garden. So we go on to bedrooms. Lovely. Oh, it's just beautiful looking out again. Oh my god. Oh, wow. You just got I think this is the landscaping best block. You see, that so is incredible. That isn't your block. And private. No. That's not your block. The yeah, fence is just here. It's but like you're an acreage, but not. Yeah. yeah. Your, your two favourite palms. Our two favorite say hello palms. to you here. Yes, you see them from everywhere in the house. So we've got extra storage. The, the pull downs. Oh, wait. Hang Here on. we go. Okay. Okay, now we're talking. Okay. Yeah. Now we're talking. So no, you know, having to get on a little. Um, I mean, who wants to struggle? step ladder to get up to your high parts of your wardrobe? And then you flow through into your ensuite. Cavity door, so you still can oh, be private, private and have a private yes. sink in the bath. But hang on, if you are having a bath here, even if you shut this off. Mr. Neighbour here can see you naked, Rob. I know you're comfortable. <gasps> yeah, that's why we've got the flick glass so we can actually oh. switch. Ah! <laughs> and it's, I just got a glow up. I just felt I got lost five years off my oh, face. I should be filming in here the whole day. <laughs> and I like that you've got um, a whole bunch of bench space at the end here. Yeah. I think that's nice just yeah. for, I'm guessing, you know, doing your hair or whatever. Yeah, you've got your yeah, stuff there. To put everything down. Everything. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, thank but you. Thank you for coming to come today. Into your home. It's absolutely beautiful. Oh, you've so done welcome. a beautiful job. It's so stunning, Rob. And I think the only question I'd like to ask is, when can I have a party? <laughs> <laughs>